It's just a thousand yen in there. It's 280 yen. That's piping hot, guys. Okay. Not fast. It's warm. It's warm. This video is sponsored by Boksu, a subscription service that lets you try out a variety of tasty and unique snacks that are sourced from throughout different regions here in Japan. Every month, they offer a unique theme box so you never get the same treats. First time Boksu customers will receive the Seasons of Japan box so you can get a taste of all the snacks you'll be receiving throughout the year. Many of the items are unique to Boksu as they work with local companies. Some of the companies have been around for over 100 years. Each box comes with 20 to 25 treats, including a tea to pair with your snacks. Boksu offers a gourmet journey through Japan every month. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure to take advantage of the 10% discount off your own snack box by using our code and clicking on the link below this video. You can save up to $44 and they currently ship to 40 countries worldwide. We definitely think Boksu is one of the best in the industry and we definitely recommend you check them out. This is our what third fourth time here third time maybe third time the last time we were here was during the summer i think no winter winter okay that's right winter i remember summertime because i had like heat strokes mm -hmm. but anyway the surprising thing is that there are a lot of new machines here it's kind of amazing so i guess they switch things up throughout the year anyway let's see what they have so first i want to choose a drink what type of what type of drink they have. They have a whole bunch of different whole drinks of, here. Yes. Yeah, it's because very rare stuff. No, they, they got a lot of rare, rare ones. Like, so. like these here are all rare. Yeah. So what should I do? Oh. How about oh, this one? It's a mega pachi. Mega pachi, like an energy drink. And this one is shiny apple juice. Apple juice from Aomori Prefecture. Yeah, these are super retro. These super super ones. They have yeah. like the pulp of the orange. Okay. Let's do this one. You want Amazake to do that one? Mika. Uh, Amazake? Amanatsu Mika. Amanatsu Mika. Amanatsu Mika. <laughs> Amasake is what I'm going to be drinking. <laughs> so this, the Tsubu Tsubu Amanatsu Mika. 150 yen. 150. The first time I had this uh, Mikan juice with the pulp inside, it was like when I was visiting my uncle in Toyohashi, like, like when I was like 12 years old. This is like so nostalgic for me. I'm, I think I'm gonna get this one. I've never seen this before. This is the guava drink. Exotic fruit drink, that's what it says. So that's 150 yen. Oh, well, look at that. So tropical. Guava exotic fruit drink. They're using 20% real fruit juice. First thing we're gonna eat is from this machine here. We're gonna get the uh, New Yorker sandwich. I have no idea what that is, but let's give that a go. So this one does take pills, so put a thousand yen in there. It's 280 yen. And we'll wait for 58 very slow seconds. Where are you gonna change? So while we're waiting for our food to get warmed up, like next to that um, machine is another machine that has a lot of hot food, but they're practically sold out of everything. So we definitely have to come back. Ooh. I've never seen Amanatsu Mikan Tsubu Tsubu drink. I always drink the regular Mikan. So maybe this one is a little bit sour. Oh, cool. 
but this can style is so nostalgic. I don't see this size can recently. Ah, I forgot. I had to shake before I open. <laughs> never mind, never mind. It's too late. It's not. It's not sour. It's sweet. It's sweeter than I expected. Little bit of tanginess, but it's sweet. But <laughs> the bits are still here <laughs> to drink. Can you see? Here. It's but it's less sweet, but it's sweeter than I expected. Not sour. It's, Texture is good, nostalgic kind of drink. Check it out, guys. So, I got the guava exotic fruit drink from a company called Oriental. Yeah, I've never heard of the company Oriental. Is this a Japanese company? I guess it must be. Oriental Curry. That's what it says. So, I guess it must be like a curry shop or something. Anyway, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Hmm, that's actually not bad. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of uh, the guava drink that you buy uh, um, in Hawaii. It's called uh, Hawaiian Made. Um, the Hawaiian Made version is a little thicker, I think. <laughs> I think this one they use less guava fruit or either that or just like a lighter or different guava um, because it is definitely lighter but it's very tropical tasting and super refreshing. I like it. Oh, the sun is coming up. It's nice and warm. It was actually a little bit chilly today. Anyway, we got the New York sandwich and it comes in a box like this. And uh, let's open it up. I realized that these uh, boxed uh, food is frozen inside the vending machines and then they are heated up in the microwave. That's what I'm assuming. That's piping hot, guys. So this is a New York sandwich inside this package. I have no idea what a New York sandwich is. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna take a wild guess what this is. First of all, this is a pita bread. And this looks like it's uh, pieces of karaage fried chicken inside pita bread with a little bit of uh, mayo or cheese. Maybe it's cheese, I don't know. Dakimasu, let's give this a try. It actually doesn't look that good, but we'll see. Hmm, not bad. It's um, it is definitely fried chicken, karaage, and there's uh, mayonnaise. I think a little bit of cheese as well. And the pita bread is very soft. I mean, it's kind of soft and mushy. Taste-wise, it's it's good. It's basically karaage with mayonnaise and cheese, and that's what you get. And a very fluffy, soft piece of pita bread. So my time, karaage. Hmm. Mm, for me, it's very familiar flavor. This flavor is a Japanese favorite to taste. The karaage and mayonnaise and the spread, pita bread, is soft. So why do you think it's called New York? Why would this be a New York sandwich? Anybody know? I <laughs> ate in New York. No, you did not. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, this karaage is very soft. It's also a very good point for Japanese people. New Yorkers and for Japanese. Those of you who live in New York, let us know what's so New York about that New York sandwich in the comments down below. I would like to know. Right behind me, to my left, which is your right side, that's another new machine for dessert. That's kakigori, shaved ice, guys. Now, I'm really, really uh, curious as to, as to whether it's going to come out just in a cup or is it actually going to shave the ice for you. We'll find out later on. So the last time we were here, we tried the uh, ramen, which is no longer here. Um, I'm wondering if it's coming back in the winter. They should because it's a, you know, hot dish. They got some uh, burgers, uh, which... Did we try the burgers? I think so. And then the, the toast sandwiches, which we did try. Udon soba, we tried that before. But some of the machines, like the yakitori machine, the oden machine, the ramen in a can, those are gone. So hopefully they will reappear again, uh, hopefully the next time we're here. But anyway, gotta think, what else should we eat here? I am very curious. 
they have bon kare rice. It's not just this package. You can buy this package at the supermarket, but this one, I've never seen this one. In the one set, rice and curry sauce. So it's 400 yen. So, Shinichi, which do you want to eat? Sweeter one or a spicier one? Spicier one, because I know it's not spicy. Okay. Oh, it's already out. Oh, it's really? already out. Oh. That was fast. Oh, it's warm. It's warm? Already warm. Surprisingly oh. warm. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. The, it's separated. Rice and curry sauce is separated. Okay. Wow. Interesting. And the mix of bon curry, they have miso soup here. Mm -hmm. Wow, miso soup. Shiro miso, aka miso. It's just 100 yen. Okay. May I drink aka miso? Sure. So aka miso is red miso. Mm -hmm. You can choose between white and red. Yeah. Okay, and then there's hot water going into... Okay, I think it's ready. It's ready? Yep. Miso soup. It's like instant miso soup. Wow. So, miso soup from vending machine. I've never eaten miso soup from the vending machine. Oh! It's miso soup. The ingredients is maybe just green onion, but it tastes dashi and miso flavor. Mm. A little bit light taste means good for my body. All right, Satoshi, the reason why the miso soup was a little subtle for you or in light in flavor is because I noticed you have to give it a mix, just swirl it around because the miso is on the bottom of the cup. It's so strong, it's so salty. <laughs> it's so thick right now because you drank most of it, but yeah, that's a, that's a tip, guys. If you have miso soup here, make sure to give it a good mix. All right, so bonkare, 400 yen. Whether that's worth it or not, I don't know. It's not a bad price. You can buy bonkare at the supermarket for 100 yen around, uh, but it doesn't come with the rice and it doesn't come heated up. So I don't know. So let's open it up. Let's open this up. Oh, wow, look at that. So, so that's the pack of curry and it comes with a spoon and it comes with rice and so it's all warmed up how interesting it's like a diy kit for japanese curry rice i'm hoping that it won't um drop to the ground okay it's very hot but not not so hot that you can't hold it or anything okay i'm gonna pour the curry sauce on top of maybe half the rice. Oh no, you know what? I'm just gonna pour over the whole thing. Oh. Oh yeah, that familiar smell of bonkare. This is the this is the type of curry that we grew up with. Well I grew up with at home. Alright, here we go. Itadakimasu. I'm gonna dig in. So I see potatoes, I see carrots, I do see uh, some onions and bits of meat in here. Uh, which is supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. okay. is, I think it's guaranteed. <laughs> guarantee, guarantee it's gonna taste like bonkare? I hope so. Mm. Reminds me of um, when my sister and I used to go visit my uncle and aunt in Toyohashi. And for breakfast, we used to have this um, bonkare for breakfast. At first we thought, you know, why are we having curry for breakfast? I guess it's a, it's a thing, you know? Um, it's very creamy, very like typical Japanese curry taste. It's a little bit sweet. It's not spicy at all. We got the spicy one. It might be, it might have a little kick to some people, but for me, there's absolutely no kick. A nice meaty taste. The rice is um, cooked quite well. Mm, cooked on the soft side. It's a little bit mushy for my liking. I think I cook better rice, but it's not bad. And the curry is always spot on. You can't go wrong with the curry. 
Mmm, yum. Bunkare from vending machine. Mmm. Yeah, it's exact bunkare, but it's not spicy. I chose spicier one, but this one is not spicy. But bunkare, yeah, it's bunkare. Next thing I'm going to get is taiyaki, which is like a pancake, Japanese pancake in the shape of a fish with uh, azuki beans on the inside. They have it right here, it's 280 yen. So hopefully they take the bill. Yes, they did. Press that. What? It doesn't work. It doesn't work? What? Unfortunately, the beef is broken. No. Oh no, I'm bummed out. What else should we get? Alright guys, since that didn't work out, we're gonna get something savory. We're getting Yoshinoya beef bowl in a can. And I guess it comes with the rice, um, because it does say rice. And there are six different cans. Uh, the top is, uh, um, I think, um, beef, pork, and that's something else. That's yakiniku, and then the bottom there's some other ones. But it's 800 yen. Once again, it's a little bit pricey. Okay, so this one, we insert the 1,000 yen bill, press that. What? Oh, no, this oh, is sold, sold out. out. Only yakiniku. They have only yakiniku. Yakiniku or the, the pork one. Pork or, one. Okay. Which one should we get? Ryu yakiniku. Ryu yakiniku. Okay. That was fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't forget to get the change. <laughs> um, it's warm. Is it no, warm? it's cold. It's it's not warm at all. How do you just eat it like this and there's no chopsticks or anything? Uh, yeah, so this is a can. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a can that you can buy at Toki Hands. Um alright. I have, I have. You have chopsticks? So, I will open this Yoshinoya, Yoshinoya can. Canned Yoshinoya. I can't believe it. Canned Yoshinoya from vending machine. Oh, looks for me. Oh <laughs> looks delicious. It does look good. And there is rice. Yeah, rice and beef. What? Wow. That's insane. I brought chopsticks from our house. Itadakimasu. If this one was warm, it would be very nice. It's cold. It's the room temperature. But I think it's okay. It's the rice soaked the soup, the yakiniku sauce so well, nicely. Mmm. 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 Nice. Texture is not so good. Because it's uh, cooked in a can, I think it has a little bit core, the hard part. Or maybe they are using the brown rice. Hmm? Hmm. Taste-wise, if it is warm, the taste would be nice. It's a soy sauce based yakiniku sauce. <laughs> hmm. From, from one to five. I give two. Let me give it a try. I'm gonna try some of the rice first. The, the rice has soaked up the sauce. Let me try the beef. Let me try the, the beef right here. Hey, it looks like Yoshinoya beef. The beef is good. It's cold though, which kind of makes it not that good. The rice is um kind of mushy. And the whole thing for me, I feel like I'm eating dog food. Like like yakiniku tasting dog food. I, I, it, this one's a little bit disappointing for me. But it's emergency food. Yes, it's emergency food. I think this would be great as an emergency food for sure. But no, <laughs> no, I don't like this one. 
dessert time, guys. And we're gonna get some kakigori or shaved ice from a vending machine. They have melon flavor, strawberry, and lemon. Which one do you want, Satoshi? Um, I'd like to have it. strawberry. Strawberry? Okay. All right, so 150 yen inside. For strawberry. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh, okay. Goodness. What? I think it's ready. You think it's ready? <coughs> wow. Check that out. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. I am happy to report that it's not just in a cup, like the you know the way they sell at the supermarket. It's actually like put like crushed ice in it, they put syrup, and they put more crushed ice in it, and they put more syrup in it. So kind of like um yeah like an automatic and I just found spoon <laughs> down here. I was like how I'm gonna eat this. Okay wow that was kind of exciting. Okay the ice is not fine like you get at the Kakigori store. It's the old fashioned style. It's really crushed ice. So cold. It's so cold. It's it's funny eating kakigori in this weather because it's not particularly hot. Uh, tastes like um like old-fashioned artificially flavored strawberry syrup. But it's 150 yen. You can't really complain, can you? I didn't believe they have a real shaved ice here. I thought it's just cup, cup one, like supermarket. But it's real shaved ice. Mmm. <laughs> the, the syrup is exactly the strawberry syrup we eat in the summer, in summer. Mmm. Yeah. Ice texture, it's, it's yes, it's old fashioned one and it's similar to the cup one. Cup one texture is similar to this one. Mm. So, for me, it's not bad, it's really refreshing and I'm happy I am eating shaved ice from vending machine. Well, I had a fun time trying out different stuff again, as I always do. You know, I'm very curious to come back because we did find another set of vending machines like behind these vending machines and it looks like they're open like maybe it's new it wasn't like that before right but they're kind of closed today and a lot of the items today were sold out so unfortunately we just chose whatever that was available that we haven't tried but um did you enjoy it i really really enjoyed it i can't wait to come again what was your favorite thing that you ate today Bon curry. <laughs> bon curry. Really? <laughs> really? I like that. I just didn't like the rice uh, for me. Um, what did I like? Uh, shaved ice. You, the shaved ice. You like that one too. What else did we eat? <laughs> miso soup. Miso soup. You know what? My favorite was the miso soup. Once you mix it up, it tasted like legit miso soup and that was my favorite. Bon curry. I, I like the curry. I just didn't like the rice. So I'm not going to choose that. Well, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're new to our channel, we would love it if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on next fun video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.